Today, we talk about how can you make sure that your finances will remain stable if you have busy months and slow months. My name is Tine Gerense from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed women creating a business with a team, with uh, whatever you want, uh, but it's not you on your own anymore. And so let's dive into the topic, how can you create income in the months that you're not having a lot of clients or when you have slow months? Well, I actually had a business like that for 22 years. I started it when I was 25. It was all about outdoor and survival activities. So the season started around March. It was still cold outside, but that's when we prepared for the season and uh, all the new team members were trained, uh, all the new procedures were um, learned, all the new materials were either um, uh, ordered uh, and the first small groups started. And then in May and June, it was, it was booming. July and August, we moved to the Alps in uh, France and Italy. It was even more booming. And in September and October, we were back in Belgium again. And then we had November, December, January, February. Okay, those months, my team had to be on, on holiday. Um, so they were not allowed to take holiday in the, in the other uh, months. We worked on cleaning the equipment, maintaining all the equipment, the mountain bikes, the kayaks, the helmets, the, 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 the suits, everything. Um, but what about the money? because that's what the topic is about. The most important thing is, is that you set high financial targets in the months that you are busy and in the months that you can get clients. Um, so you cannot set the same targets for every month if you have busy months and slow months. Now setting a target is one thing, um, but making it is another thing. And that's where you need to be relentless. You need to be relentless in sales, in positioning yourself, in marketing, in converting strategies, um, because you will have to do it in the months that the money is there. And this is a bit weird for the mind because when money is flooding in, we don't really want to make a lot of effort in sales and marketing. But in those months, remember, you need a lot more money flowing in. And, and that's, that's, that's weird for our mind. When there is a lot of abundance, we don't want to have even more abundance. But that's what you have to focus on when you have slow months. And we had lots of slow months. November, December, January, February. March was slow and November was slow. But December, January, February, we had no clients. Uh, we only had down payments coming in of groups who booked for uh, next year. So you have to be relentless in those months. So if your, um, your need is, for example, 5,000 every month, you need to make sure that in the months that you can make money, you have way more so that you can pay for the slow months. That's one thing. Uh, the other thing I always did uh, was lower my own wages in those months so that um, I could only pay for my minimum expenses and I started uh, make my wage higher uh, in the other months or I sometimes paid double wages. Now if you're a single earner of course this is tricky but you could still save up money for the slow months. Yeah. Um, the other thing I did was um, talking to my vendors um, when I was ordering stuff that we would need in March uh, or April uh, and they delivered, I always demanded a 30-day uh, payment uh, plan so that I, would, I could start using the equipment but did not have to pay until 30 days after delivery. Then we were already in April. That's when schools started to come and those are big groups. So they were paying a bigger money. They had to pay a month in advance. So it was always juggling. 
The other thing I did was um, people I had to pay in winter, I just called and say, listen, um, I didn't make enough to pay all my bills in the winter, so I will pay you and I am okay paying you a little extra for, wait, for you having to wait, but can I pay you in March or April? Um, and usually they understood. Uh, they were often in a similar situation, so it wasn't really nice for them. But they understood. So there's planning very well, vigorous in your sales and marketing, even when there is an abundance of income, because you know you will have slow months. Work closely on the payment of your invoices. Make sure you negotiate payment terms with your vendors. Be in communication if you cannot pay a bill. Because if you're in communication, it's very likely that they, they will not send a debt collector. If you're not in communication, you will get, you will get debt uh, collectors. So, and if you know for sure that you have enough booked for the upcoming months, then you, and sometimes they will ask for that proof. Well, okay, send it. I, at one point, I had someone ask me for uh, someone to be uh, responsible. I asked uh, one of my competitors, but he also was my, um, my mentor when I was an intern. So he knew me inside out. And he said, Tineke, I know you're gonna make it. So he was responsible. So the, the collecting company called him and he would vouch for me. You know, there's always these things that you can negotiate, but you need to be in communication, all right? So that's my experience about what to do when you have busy months and slow months. Yeah, I hope you've liked the tips. And you know, this is just one very, 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 very small but significant area in running and scaling and growing your business. Now there's hundreds of areas you need to work on. Do you know all of them? Are you capable of being good at all of them? I suppose not. And that's where I come in. Um, try me out. Give me your questions. Schedule a 15 minute call and challenge me. See if I can answer them. 99% sure I can answer a question that you're struggling with. It's 15 minutes. We're just checking each other out. I will not be selling you my program. It's not possible in 15 minutes, but I do share my 15 minute scheduling link. And I help women to scale and grow and double their business in a year. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel where you see this video because there's lots of these videos and then you will get a notification every week of a new video about a different topic for self-employed businesswomen building a business. Bye-bye for now.